Hi, Lorna McGee here with Whitby Chamber of Commerce on another Lorna Learns. I have the pleasure with interviewing Dean Smalley so we can learn a little bit more about unique media solutions. Welcome, Dean. Hi, Lorna. Glad to be here. Thank you. You have a really impactful tagline. Would you please describe what it means to you and your company? Sure, that's a great question. So our tagline is printing for your success. We're a large format printing company, which we get to do some really amazing things. So everything comes down, just one sec, Lauren, if they crank the TV in the back, do you mind if I stop? No, I'll pause first. Okay, great. Yes, so thanks, Lauren. That's a really great question. Yeah, so our tagline is printing for your success. We're a large format printing company. And we get to do some really cool things, but it all comes down to our clients. And the way we look at it is our clients, most of them are, want to grow their company or they have a certain thing they want to help their staff with. So we meet with them, find out what their goals and objectives are, and then come up with a strategic plan how to achieve those and then execute on that plan. So it all comes down to printing something for the success of our clients. And our team really jumped on board to this because it takes a lot of pride in what we do now. It's just... Not that we're just printing anymore, it's more than that. We're actually having a vested interest in our clients and that's what we do. So it's really cool. Like the latest one we did, we just did one that was pretty cool is that our, our clients are all over the place. So it's, it's, we are more than a Durham printer. We have like, we just completed a job out in uh, Whistler, BC, Edmonton, uh, Brampton. We worked with the city of Brampton on a cool project and uh, Aurora. So we get to do all over the place. So it's really important that our team really understands the importance of what we do and how we help our clients out. Excellent. That's, uh, that's you're spreading wide. Do you think it's because we're virtual now that the, the net's wider? Uh, not exactly. We've always been, we have had clients that are national right across the board and international as well. So we've even been down the States so we've always had that network of installers and clients because we can service like franchises. So we do like fleets for a lot of our clients. So they have offices right across the country. We do uh, window graphics for uh, retail stores that have offices right across Canada. So we've always been a national company. We just never really promoted. We're kind of like our own best kept secret sometimes. So now we're trying to get that out there even more and let know, our clients know and uh, possibly other clients that this is what we can do to accommodate their needs. Excellent, excellent. Um, what are some of the most unique projects you have done in the past and what has made them unique? That's a tough question because we get to do some of the coolest things. Uh, one that really steps out is where we just finished uh, working with the town of Aurora and we did some really cool things with their walls and we're going to actually be doing more there but it was kind of similar to what we did with the Whippy BIA where we did a, a wall you find that a lot of the walls get uh, tagged and they're trying to implement beautification programs so we worked with the Whippy BIA did a wall with them uh, we worked with the city of Toronto and we wrapped all kinds of control boxes for them downtown Toronto so control boxes uh, the big six foot boxes that control the, the lights. So the traffic lights. So they're finding that they're getting tagged all the time, which is really ugly. So we worked with some local artists, they designed it and we got to actually wrap them. So now they don't, and we put a special laminate on them. So they, if they get tagged, we can just wipe them off. So it, it just adds a whole new flavor to what's going on. Uh, another cool project that we worked on was, um, besides the uh, city of Brampton is we, we did a boat. So when this, we had a client that came to us, he had this 25 foot boat and he wanted it look like uh, the Spartan 300 theme the, from the movie. And that was really challenging because the, what happens with the boat is it's not a flat surface. It kind of curves and it curves up and bows. So when you have the spears of the Spartans, you couldn't have them kind of looking all wonky because it wouldn't look right on the side of his boat. So that was a really cool project and it turned out amazing. Uh, the other one that I was very proud of was as I when Carrie worked with the Whippy BIA, she approached me about working with her to help out businesses when COVID first hit. And she goes, can we do some signages for the downtown businesses to help them out as far as letting people know what the rules are for COVID, uh, social distancing and all that. So we partnered with them and we produced all their graphics from the posters to the window graphics to the floor graphics. And it was such a big hit that the town economic development 
department and approached us and we start we supplied them for all the businesses throughout Whitby. So it's just our way to help other businesses out and it was really important to us. So those are some of the cool things we get to do. You have a lot of cool projects. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, what are some of the upcoming projects you're currently working on? So again, we're working with the city of Brampton again. Uh, they have a couple of Zambonis. So oh, Canadiana there with the rings. So we're wrapping a couple of Zambonis for them. They're going to be custom wrapped. So they're going to be bombing around in a couple of arenas. So we're doing that. I was just actually yesterday out there and measuring them all up. So we do everything just bang on for them. Uh, Town of Aurora, uh, we're partnering with them. They got a really unique project coming up in the springtime. They have uh, their main street is called Young Street. And along Young Street, they have this big wall. It's like a retaining wall, and it's really kind of ugly, to put it bluntly. And we're partnering with a local artist, and she's created these uh, design that she wants to be installed on these walls. And so it's going to be over a 50-foot uh, long wall, five feet high, and we're completely recreating the graphics and uh, wrapping this wall. So it's going to look amazing. So that's a really cool project. For, those are two really cool projects we're working on. So yeah. Those are very cool projects. So lots of yeah. for 2022. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing all about your company and uh, teaching our membership about what you do. Uh, just so the membership knows a little bit more about Dean Smalley himself, I happen to know something about you and I have a question. Sure. I know you work out, you're an avid fitness guy. Um, when you wake up on a dark morning on a snowy day and you don't feel like working out, what motivates you? Um, I don't really look at it that way. I just do it. It's just like, uh, I kind of take a book out of Elon Musk. I was listening to him the other day and he says, you know what, what motivates him, what inspires him? He says, I just know I have to get it done. So I just, I don't focus on anything else, but just getting up and doing it. And that's kind of way I approach working out in any challenge for that matter. That's the way we look at it. Good advice. And one yeah. last thing for Dean, uh, so our membership knows you a little bit better. What do you like to do in your downtime? Besides spending time with family, family is definitely my priority. Um, I like to read. I always like learning about new people and new things and new experiences. I find that just uh, expands my knowledge. I definitely love working out. I do CrossFit, so I, I'm kind of addicted to that. Um, do the odd Spartan race, which is a more of a challenge. and. Uh, you know, and I love watching movies and just different things. I kind of expand, and spend time with friends and family, definitely. You're well-rounded, Mr. Dean Smalley. <laughs> Thanks, Lorna. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on Lorna Learns for the Whip Chamber of Commerce and learn, we could learn a little bit more about the unique media solutions. Um, wonderful, wonderful time spending with you and I hope you have a wonderful day. You too, Lorna. Thank you very much. Thank you.